Duke freshman Virginia Elena Carter entered today's fourth and final round of the individual portion of the women's NCAA championship with a six shot lead. And shots like this only helped widen the cushion a hole out from the greenside bunker at the par five fourth for birdie. Everything going in the right direction for this young player. She wouldn't let up either. Carter, her 16 under total is the lowest score in relation to par in NCAA Women's Championship history. It's also the lowest 72 hole score to par in Duke program history. A full recap right now on Golf Central. Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. It is a great day to be a freshman, especially if you're a Duke freshman and your name is Virginia Elena Carter, the fourth player from Duke to win an NCAA individual title. How about this, too, on top of all of it? It's the first win of her college career. Lisa <laughs> Cornwell, Paige McKenzie, Amanda Blumenhurst here to to talk about all of it, Paige, a three-time All-American at the University of Washington. Amanda, three-time NCAA National Player of the Year for Duke. Oh, by the way, sporting her Duke colors. Uh, Paige, I'll let you start with this because it really is hard to put into words. I mean, she set a 54-hole scoring record and nerves weren't an issue. No, and if you're going to have one win in your freshman year, <laughs> why not be the biggest win of the year at the NCAA championship? And we saw so many highs and lows, a lot of emotion. You really got a chance to see just how much this event means to the players, whether it's because they're celebrating a great day or whether it's because they've got tears because this is the end of their career. Absolutely. I mean, tears mean so much, right? <laughs> I mean, you have you saw girls having absolute meltdowns because it was so sad. And then you also have tears of absolute joy and watching it too. You get you get that feeling as well from these players. And what Virginia has done today is unbelievable. And these top 18 top eight teams making it to match play is so important to each every team because they're continuing. Today wasn't their last day. She's only 19 years old. One bogey in her last 53 holes. Are you kidding me? Absolutely no pressure for this young player. Let's show you one of her, some of her many highlights because trust us, there are a lot. Here at the par three third, a long birdie putt page. And after holding the 54 hole lead with such an extent, you thought they might be some tentativeness on the greens early, no? Nope, she's showing us she's going to stay aggressive. That would get her to 14 under and a seven shot lead. Now at the par five fourth. We saw this earlier, but when you do these sort of things, Amanda, it's worth taking another look. I mean, that's a beautiful shot. Why, why not see it again and again? <laughs> she is nine under par this week for par fives. It shows you how amazing she is at ball striking. That had extended her lead to eight. Now at the par five seventh, her little approach. You know, and she is part of this storied Duke program. And as a freshman coming into a program like that, it's got to be intimidating, especially when you have two player of the years on her team. But she's showing just how confident this freshman can be with that birdie there on the seventh. And I know you like how aggressive she was with the putter all day long. Let's stay on her at the par four ninth now. Look at this putt. I mean, she's just showing that she is meant to be here. This was not a fluke. I mean, putt that goes in and she just walks with such confidence. I absolutely love it. I can't imagine how big the cup was looking to this young player at that point. Let's go to the 16th. She did bogey 11. We mentioned one bogey in 53 holes. Yeah, and she knows how to play this front nine. 12 under for the week on the front nine. Starting her Pretty round much. off hot. And that would keep her at 16 under and a six Woo! shot lead now at 18 and the lead is seven. Duke's and there Virginia you go, Ellen a little tap Carter. in to win it. You can hear her teammates electrified by what they witnessed and why not douse her in a little water because what she did, I mean. A water shower after a win. <laughs> I actually never experienced it, but I imagine it's pretty amazing. <laughs> she closes with a 69, so again, a 16 under total. We are going to talk about her performance throughout the show. Right now, let's go to Ryan Labner, who has much more on this championship winner. Thanks, Lisa. Virginia, congratulations on your record-setting performance. How are you possibly able to create so much separation between yourself and the rest of the field? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> I haven't realized yet that I won this tournament. Um, the course was really was great. Like I love tree line courses, so I love this course. And 
Even if today my long game was not that good because I was really nervous, my putt helped me uh, having a good score, so that was good. Waking up with a six-shot lead, how did you feel this morning and how did you feel that you handled the nerves? Uh, I was really, really nervous. I woke up at three in the morning. I could not fall asleep again. Um, then on the course, I was, I was kind of relaxed. Um, Basically, I was completely relaxed just on the 17th hole and I played the last two holes relaxed. Um, but before that, I was really, really nervous. What's it mean to you to win this NCAA championship? It means, it means a lot. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm really happy and I can't wait tomorrow to start match plays with the team. And if I play good, it's also because I have my team supporting me and all the other friends supporting me. So thanks also to them. Thanks, Virginia. Congratulations. Lisa, let's go back to you. Thank you very much. She's certainly calm, cool, and collected. You wouldn't have a clue that she's only 19 years old. Well, we've been talking all week about the records that she's been setting. Yesterday it was the 54-hole scoring record. Today it's the lowest score in relation to par in NCAA Women's Championship history. And it's not like she just barely broke through. I mean, we've all heard of Caroline Headwall and her success on the LPGA Tour. She beats that by 12. Penny Hamill also did it way back in the day. But I, I, again, you just think about how this freshman was able to do it. Amanda, you were watching different aspects of her game throughout the week. What impressed you most with Carta? Oh my goodness, uh, her just being, she is able to stay so collected and cool and collected like you said. I mean, this is a really big deal. I mean, to win nationals and to how, hold the lead basically throughout the entire tournament. This is not just, you know, a one day where she brought it. She brought it all week. And she told me how nervous she was on the final hole. Uh, that she, it kind of started coming to her that what this meant, what the 54 hole record meant. And this putt, I think she said, she said that putt on the last hole gave me the momentum to go into the final round. I think that gave her just the extra bit of confidence that was crucial today because even though she was up by six, you know, you still have to keep it together. It's not just, it wasn't done. She had still had 18 more holes to play. And as important as that putt was to her confidence, she's not typically a good putter. In fact, her strength is ball striking. If we look at her statistics over the course of this year and this season, we'll start to understand exactly how good of a ball striker she is. You can see right there, number one in the country in greens and regulation at 82%. That's four percentage points higher than anybody else that plays this game. Look at those fairways hit nearly 80%. This is where we start to see the weekend, the weakness. 34 putts on average, or over 34 putts on average in a round. So what she did today, following that confident putt uh, yesterday on the ninth hole, her very final hole, we can see that translate. You talked about momentum, carrying it over. And what that means to me is she's figured out a way to manufacture confidence, not for just one round, but for all four. And what that tells me is she's a savvy player. She's got a strong mind for the game. This tentative or difficult par save just to keep that momentum going. That's a strong mentality of a champion. And she was able to do that on the heels of not having a strong record on the putting surface or with a putter in her hand. And, look at the, and that fist pump says it all. I mean, when she knew, she knew how important that putt was and just to keep it going. And you know, a five footer isn't easy under that pressure. And she gave it that little fist pump. I love it. And we <laughs> see this so often in golf, right? On every single level, the one person who comes to mind is Rory McIlroy. He's mm -hmm. a streaky putter. He's not the best putter in the game, but when he's putting well, you're not going to beat him because he is consistently a great ball striker. Absolutely. If you get stats like that, you just need one or two mediocre days of putting to get a champion. It's still very hard to believe that this is her very first collegiate win. She's a freshman and this is her very first win. It's hard to believe. You think about it, only eight freshmen have won the individual national title in women's NCAA championship history. You can go all the way back to 1991. Annika setting that trend when she was at Arizona. Vicki Getz, one of the best short game players I can remember in Austin Ernst, Annie Park, they're the most recent, both players still on the LPGA Tour. The race to eight had some drama down the stretch. The host team from the University of Oregon fighting to stick around. So 
is the same for Oklahoma State, also Arizona. We'll discuss exactly what happened for these bubble teams coming up. Plus, how can you not keep talking about the individual title holder? Duke's Virginia, Elena Carta. We'll hear from her more and we'll talk about her game and everything she accomplished this week coming up on Golf Central. Golf Central is brought to you by Titleist, the number one ball at the AT&T Byron Nelson. Titleist, the number one ball in golf. Comcast Business, built for business.